Hi guys, it's Alexa. Nice to see you all again. Sorry for not uploading a video in a long time. I've been busy with other things, but I'm back now. Anyways, as you guys already know, the coronavirus has taken over. It's all over the news, the whole world is in danger, and we're being quarantined into our homes, we're washing our hands like crazy, and it's all just a big mess. People are working from home, schools are closed, and kids are doing school online for the time being. I haven't really been going out much because I just want to stay safe, and I've been washing my hands a lot more than I used to. The only times I really left the house were to either buy food or go to work, and I always make sure to wash my hands when I get home. Yes, the Dunkin' I work at is still open during this pandemic. Although, we haven't really been getting many customers lately. Less and less people are going out and going to Dunkin' because of the pandemic. So Dunkin' has been less busy than usual. Although I still work at Dunkin', I've been given less hours and more days off because the Dunkin' I work at is overstaffed for the very little customers coming in right now. Not only that, but we're very low on paper towels in my house. And we can't go out and buy more paper towels because they're sold out everywhere. Most cleaning supplies are, are out of stock in most stores. Now, I thought that everyone in China would be quarantined and the coronavirus would never make it to the US. But I thought wrong, and the coronavirus has been spreading like crazy all over the world. It's especially a huge concern because so many people are dying from it. I have nothing to worry about because I'm young and healthy, but I'm worried about my dad and my grandma because they're older and more at risk. If they contract the coronavirus, they could die. My dad is almost 70 years old. He'll be 70 in May. And I haven't seen him in a while because of the quarantine. In fact, I haven't seen most of my relatives in a while because of this. I feel trapped and isolated. Just a few days ago, I did a family FaceTime with my dad, my sister Brooke, her boyfriend, and my cousin Amy. And it was so nice to see all of them again. It felt nice to hear their voices again and everything. One thing I recommend doing is FaceTiming or video chatting your loved ones so you can still see them. Also, avoid leaving your house as much as you can, and if you do go out, wash your hands a good few times while you're out, and wash your hands again as soon as you get home. In fact, wash your hands a lot, because you never know who's carrying the virus and who's not. A lot of people are carrying the virus without even knowing it, because they aren't feeling any symptoms. Even I could be carrying the virus right now. I don't know. Also, try not to touch your face with unwashed hands. You can even wear gloves and a mask when you leave the house to be safer. Work from home too, if you can. I've even considered taking time off from work because of this, just to stay, stay safe. Let's just hope and pray that this pandemic ends soon and things will go back to the way they were. And that's all I have to say, I guess. I just wanted to update you all and let everyone know that I'm okay. I hope all of you are okay too. I'm taking as many precautions as I can to stop the coronavirus. And I'd really like you to as well. If you like this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll get notified every time I upload. And please share this video with everyone you know as well. Let's work together to not only stop the coronavirus, but get this video to 100,000 views. You can also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and stay safe guys. Bye.